Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. What's the difference between Google Ads and Facebook Ads and which one should you use for your store? Guys, it really depends on your store, your products, your niche, who your customers are, but hopefully this video will help you out a little bit. Google works really well if people are going to Google and searching for exactly what you sell. Facebook is great if you want to show off your product visually and you know exactly who would buy your product. Facebook is also great because it's very scalable and you can target people that aren't looking for you yet. Okay, so let's talk about Google and I teach a lot about Google Ads here on my YouTube channel. It's such an underrated platform for e-commerce and very few store owners are using it to its full potential. A lot of people obsess over Facebook because that's what the gurus teach. They teach to start with Facebook. But me and my clients, we're over here on Google Ads and Google Shopping and we're getting tons of cheap clicks and a lot more profits. And Google is fantastic because you're targeting people that have very high buying intent. Think about it. People go to Google when they're on a mission. They want something in particular. Maybe it's directions to get to the beach. Maybe they're looking for a type of restaurant, but also they have problems and they're looking for a specific product to solve that problem. It's kind of like Amazon. People go to Amazon, they often know what they have in mind and they go there and search for the product. It's very similar. If you have a Shopify store, it's like on Amazon, but you have so much more control over your brand. People go to Google and they search for buy computer mouses. You can then show a campaign and strategy that only shows your ad and your website if they search for this exact keyword, buy computer mouse. You know exactly what they're looking for, a computer mouse, and you know what their intent is, buy. They're looking to buy this product online. So you just need to write a good ad that sends them to the right page that has the computer mouse there for them to buy. Super easy. And this is the good thing about Google is that you can limit your traffic to just people that are really searching for your products. Now let's talk about Facebook. Facebook is awesome because there are so many users on Facebook and you can get super granular with your targeting. And maybe for your niche and your product, your store, there are only a small amount of people that are actually searching on Google for that product. This means that you would have a limited amount of people to draw from to get that search traffic. But with Facebook, you can target audiences. You can target people that don't even know about you or know about your products or that this sort of product exists yet. So basically, you can show your products to people that don't know that they want it yet, but they will once they see it. And then you show it to them and they come and buy it. It's a very visual platform and you need to make sure that your creatives are engaging. And keep in mind that when advertising on Facebook, you're, you're basically disrupting users that are going through their feed. They're scrolling through, checking out memes and other content that they like. You want to show something that's valuable to them, something that entices them to stop, click through and purchase. It's disruptive advertising, a bit like a billboard. Now, what about combining both? This is what I recommend and what we use for so many e-commerce stores. Google and Facebook feed into one another really well. For example, starting with just Google and Google Shopping allows you to feed your store with all these customers at a really low cost per click and start getting those initial conversions. They go through your funnel, purchase your products, and they end up on your email list. Well, you can then make sure that you have the Facebook pixel installed on your store from the get-go and then retarget on Facebook. You can also build up your customer base with the Google high intent traffic and then turn to Facebook to run lookalike campaigns. This means that you're using that Google traffic, that search intent to get your ideal customer base through your funnel and get all that data. You then turn to Facebook and say, find people just like these ideal customers. It's an incredible strategy and I've seen it work beautifully with so many stores. Many stores I've worked with, we started off by just doing Google Shopping and Google search ads and then we turned to Facebook and scaled up those campaigns too with these lookalike audiences and retargeting. Because usually when you start on Facebook, you have to do a lot of testing, testing audiences, testing creatives, testing offers. This can shortcut the process to a large extent. You'll still need to test, but it does make it a lot easier. Also, retargeting campaigns on each platform will also retarget users on the other platform as well. So people coming through your Facebook ads will also see Google retargeting ads as well as retargeting ads on Facebook and Instagram. So it basically allows you to get super broad with your reach of these users, this traffic, for the retargeting campaigns across all of social media, Facebook, Instagram, as well as all over the web with the display campaigns across blogs and all these news websites and all these little other websites that have AdSense installed. All right guys, that's it for today. Just a quick video showing the difference between Google and Facebook ads. 
Like I said, I recommend using both for your e-commerce store. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you're using Google Ads and Facebook Ads to grow your e-commerce store. I'd love to hear about it. If you haven't seen my other videos, I go through a lot, especially on the Google Ads, Google Shopping side. Check out my playlists. They're very, very useful for you guys, fully free. They're all there. So much value for you guys. I made it to help you grow your store. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.